multiply it by 20, we've got the whole shebang. About 20 times, and this is the entire known universe, estimate 100 billion galaxies in the universe that we know today. We call it the measurable universe. The composition, here's an interesting thing, despite all of those planets, all of that stellar material, all of the nebula, everything you see, in that space only 5% of it is actual known matter. 20% of it is dark matter. What is dark matter? Well, it's the same thing as regular matter, only it's so far away and we don't have any evidence, we just know through inference that it does exist. There's four times as much physical parts of the universe uh, that we don't see, uh, that we know is there. 75% is dark energy. That's the stuff that keeps the whole thing going, keeps it all together. And uh, there is trace amounts of background radiation. So how big is the universe? Uh, here's an example. This is one of my two favorite photographs. This one is called the Hubble Deep Field Photo. Actually, I need to update this because they changed the uh, Hubble telescope camera to high resolution uh, a couple, three years ago, and they retook this picture, and it's a much nicer picture. What's interesting about this picture is about three things. Number one, every spot on that picture is a galaxy. That is not stars. That is, every one of them is a galaxy. This picture was taken by Hubble and it was aimed at a section of the sky where astronomers had never seen anything before. The total count when they got done with the image was over 10,000 galaxies. So what that says is they aimed the Hubble at a spot in space where nothing existed and discovered 10,000 galaxies that it had never seen before. What else is interesting about this picture, and this literally the first time I read this on a caption, it kept me awake at night thinking about it. The chunk of sky that you're looking at that was magnified is no bigger than the width of a paperclip held at arm's length. And I don't mean the bent side, I mean unravel the paperclip and look down the end. That tiny dot held at arm's length is all the section of sky that those 10,000 galaxies appeared in. It really gives you a sense of what the whole sky would then contain at that point. My second favorite photograph is this one. I'll ask you if you would like to read a wonderful essay by Carl Sagan called The Pale Blue Dot. Uh, it was taken on this picture. This picture was taken by Voyager on Valentine's Day 1990. Uh, it was taken from be just beyond Pluto, and it is the planet Earth. Planet Earth is right there, that tiny dot. This particular line is not a sunbeam, it's a light of refraction. They could not get the lens of the camera to capture the Earth without picking up the layer from the sunlight. Uh, if you've ever taken a picture, a, a snapshot picture, and the sun is peering in, you get these little glares, that's what that is. But Sagan wrote about a little dust mite suspended in a light beam is really all Earth is. And the essay he wrote, you know, like I say, Google it, it's called Pale Blue Dot. It's a really beautiful uh, essay about that. Uh, so the question is, does this all make you feel small? Yes. On Earth, only humans are capable of being aware of the universe, which means that we humans and perhaps other intelligent life forms elsewhere are the universe fully aware of itself? And I went to Wright State uh, a few months ago and saw Neil deGrasse Tyson lecture, and he said in this very lecture in Dayton, if this makes you feel small, your ego was already too big. And uh, that, that's a very, very good point. So how big is the universe? The answer is the age and size are the same. We know that the age is approximately 13.5 billion years, and that's exactly the size. It's 13.5 billion light years wide. It's the same as the age because the matter is traveling at the speed of light, thus the space-time continuum. And that's the simple answer to the question. So the conclusion, the universe is big. It's really, really big. In fact, it's astronomical. And that's my talk. Thank you.